Hey guys, it's April 23rd, Wednesday, and it's 11 days post-competition from the Texas Shredder, uh, and I just wanted to report um, on my bulking. So if you haven't followed my Instagram, um, my plan is uh, for bulking, I'm going to do like a 50-25-25 split. So my carbs are going to be 100 or 270 grams, uh, and actually they've been more like 300 and my protein is 140 my fat is 60 to 70 grams um, so a lot of food and I haven't been real clean about it but um, I also wanted to report that I've gained 2.2 pounds since the day before competition um, I'm not freaking out about this my goal is to gain a half a pound a week obviously that's over a pound a week right there because um, it hasn't even been two weeks but I did take L2 Extreme, which was a little bit, um, like, to deplete my water. And so uh, I think I lost some weight from that. And so I think I'm just getting back to, like, my regular weight is what it is. Because um, I'm 119.6 pounds or 120, which is what I was um, bouncing back and forth uh, just regularly, like, a week before the competition. So, um, so yeah. So from this point on, because I feel like I'm back to normal... I'm going to monitor uh, my weight more carefully and make sure that I'm gaining about a half a pound a week. If I gain a pound a week, I feel like that's too much because I know that's not all muscle. Um, and I want to try and gain as little as fat as possible um, so I don't have to cut too much. And I just want to keep it under control. I don't want to get all crazy because I feel like a lot of people will gain a lot, a lot of fat when they're bulking. And if you're gaining a ton of fat when you're bulking... You're probably eating too much because you have excess that you don't need. Um, excess calories and carbs and whatever else. Um, so that's just my little theory. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So from this point on, um, I'll take the changes more seriously. But as of right now, I just feel like I'm back to normal. So that's my report. Oh, so my split... I don't know if I already reported that or not, but I'm doing uh, three leg days a week. I am sticking to three leg days. Uh, I'm going to do like a heavier day, a glute focused day, and then um, a little bit lighter of a day just with some, some extra little, I think, accessory work. And then I have my buy and try day, um, chest and back, and then shoulders. Shoulders will always be on their own because I really need to focus on my shoulders, my glutes, and my legs. Um, and then I am incorporating a rest day. I wasn't doing that before. And then as far as core and cardio, I'm just going to try and fit car uh, core work in when I can. And then my daughter's in track right now, so I'm going to run with her like one time a week or something like that. Um, so that's what I plan on doing. And um, that's all for today. Okay, so this is my arm day. There's my husband walking around, um, and I'm going to give you guys some footage of him as well. So what I really like to do is pyramid training for arms. I do, uh, these are hammer curls. I started with fives, then went to tens, fifteens, and those are twenties, um, but I didn't start recording until now. And then I'm going to go back down to fifteen, um, ten, and five. And I usually try and start off with the fives doing about twenty reps. Um, and then I kind of scale down as they get heavier, but still trying to do as much as you can before you completely burn out because obviously you still have a lot more reps to do. Um, and then I do this in, with the hammer curls and then I'll go again and I'll do them just like regular curls. Sometimes I'll sit down, just depends. Um, as you can tell, I'm cheating a little bit here with my um, rocking back and forth. <laughs> But um, sometimes that's necessary when you go a little bit heavier, it's all right. Um, and then when you go back down, you don't want to rock and stuff as long as you can help it. So, And then you'll see me kind of like wiggling my fingers and kind of stretching out my forearms because my grip always tends to give out when I do these. But um, I really like using the dumbbells because I feel like the barbells allow your dominant side to take over a little bit. And um, what I want to do is bring my left side back up to... Uh, you know, the same strength as my right side. So this way, the left side has to do all the work over there um, with that weight. So there you have it. So 
So here's my husband doing some hammer curls with 70 pounds like a boss and I love his facial expressions. It's awesome. Too bad you can't really see him here. There he goes a little bit. Um, and his name is Michael by the way. Just in case you're wondering. There he goes. You do. biceps a little bit and now we're going to work on some triceps with a little close grip bench. Um, obviously you're going to hit your you know, other muscles here too as well, but this works your triceps pretty good. And really you guys, this is a mind over matter thing, most of this, if you really want to push it hard, like <laughs> I got stuck there for a minute, but you got to get your head in the game. But honestly, when somebody's videotaping you, it kind of distracts you a little bit, so it takes a little extra effort to keep your mind in it. But this is about as heavy as I go for as many reps as I like to do. Um, but I'm going to be working on getting stronger. And then Michael's going to show you some close grip here. Um, I like to videotape him too and watch him because he usually has pretty good form. He goes down all the way. A lot of guys don't. Um, and keeps it in a nice straight plane, which isn't always easy to do. So there you have it. I'll show you my way and then he'll show you the right way. <laughs> We're going to hit our triceps right here again, doing um, tricep extensions with the cable. This is a, a bent bar, I don't know what you call it. Um, and then you'll see later we're going to do it with the rope too. I prefer to do it with the rope actually. Got to be careful with these with your stance because um, you can kind of lean over and give it some um, push that way or you can do more of like a straighter stance but just pay attention to the way that your, your tricep feels. There he is, doing the whole stack, like a boss. Good form as always. And here's the rope. Really, there's nothing to biceps and triceps. I like to do more isolation type moves, and so it's really just a bunch of curls and a bunch of extensions. Um, it's fun to mix it up with other things, but I kind of just really like to focus on my muscle, um, the muscle group that I'm working on, and and not complicate things with too many compound movements if I can help it. Um, but compound movements have their place in uh, my workout week, so I have some of that too. <laughs> Struggling at the end there. And then here he is doing his boring... All right, I'm asking him some questions here. Sorry, I should have cut that out. But um, I'm doing some curls here with the ropes, like I said, that I like to do. Um, it turns it into more of a hammer-type curl than the bar does, and you work a little bit more of your brachialis is what I'm thinking. So you can always do those, too. Okay, these are bicep curls um, with the cable, and you can do it with both at the same time, but uh, Michael is using the other side for something else and whatever, so um, they're kind of fun, but they're not my favorite. I like to do just basic curls with the dumbbells. I think those are my favorite, so. Um, but, you know, options are nice to have, and you don't want to get bored with the same workout routine, but I tend to be a creature of habit, and I like to do the same things all the time, and... It works. You don't have to switch up your routine, but I guess it's a good idea every once in a while, you know, for certain personality types, but really don't think it's necessary. So here's my husband doing a little bit of uh, arm wrestling type workouts, and I just wanted to grab his veins there for a minute. Um, he has a tournament coming up at the Europa Show, so go and say hi to him at the uh, arm wrestling table if you're there.